Single embryo, or more correctly, single elective embryo transfer, is a concept that arose probably approximately a decade ago in Scandinavia, more specifically initially in Finland, but then swept Scandinavia, swept a large part of Europe, and now in recent years has also started sweeping across the Atlantic into the US and Canada. It is basically the idea that twin pregnancies represent an adverse outcome of fertility treatment or IVF. Meaning that twin pregnancies should be avoided. And the argument that our colleagues make in reaching this conclusion is that risks to mothers and offspring from twin pregnancies are higher than from singleton pregnancies. And that is obviously correct. But that is a statistically different consideration than the consideration we have in reproductive endocrinology and infertility for the following reasons. When an obstetrician compares twin pregnancy to singleton, it is a retrospective review. They deliver a twin pregnancy, they deliver a singleton pregnancy, and now they look at complications to mom and offspring in those two pregnancies, and they compare. And obviously, twins have higher risks, both on the maternal side and on the, on the baby side. But that is not the paradigm that we in infertility follow. Ours is a prospective paradigm. Patients come to us and say, doctor, help me have a pregnancy. And I'm asking the patient, okay, do you have children? No, I don't have children. Do you want one child, two, three, what are your plans? If the patient says, I want at least two children, then for me, the question to answer, the statistical question to answer is, how do I prospectively give this patient or help this patient to achieve two children? And for a moment, assuming that I could on demand produce twins, which we obviously cannot, but assuming for a moment, for, for statistical considerations, that, that we could, for, for, for me, therefore, the options are to either help her have twins, one pregnancy with two children, or two consecutive pregnancies of one each, two singleton because the end product is two children. And in statistics, if you want to compare two treatments, the outcome needs to be the same. So in contrast to the obstetrical analysis, where the comparison is one child versus two children, here I have to compare one twin pregnancy to two single. And that is obviously a completely different statistical observation because I have to add up the risks of two singles. And as it turns out, when that is done, the risk difference becomes very minimal. There is no major additional risk to twins versus two consecutive singles. There are some, but they are really minor few more days in the intensive care unit, for example, but there are no long-term, there's no risk in mortality, there's no risk in long-term morbidity, mother, uh, children of, of, of any significance.